Welcome back. Some gave all and all gave some. It feels as though we can never do enough to thank the men and women who have fought for our freedoms. Mid-Michigan Honor Flights make sure that their dedication to our country doesn't go unnoticed. Join us with more details on how we can treat more veterans is Brenda King Gibson, Secretary of MMHF. Good morning to you, Brenda. Good morning. Good morning. What is an Honor Flight? An honor flight is a trip that we do for all eligible veterans. Um, they are taken free of charge to Washington, D.C. to see the memorials and monuments in their honor. How do you go about deciding or choosing or do they apply to be on this flight? There are there's an application um, available on the website, the www.midmichiganhonorflight.org. Um, obviously, we are first and foremost wanting to get our World War II veterans that are still with us um, on those flights first, and then Korean veterans and Vietnam veterans, and then obviously, if we have a veteran that is terminally ill, we, we kind of bump them up on the list to get them there as quickly as we can. And while they're out in Washington, D.C., what types of things do they do or see? Um, we go to the World War II monument. We go to um, the Korean War monument. Um, we obviously go to see the, uh, the Vietnam Wall. Um, and a big part of it is we go to Arlington National Cemetery for a changing of the guard ceremony. We've been lucky enough um, on several of the flights to actually be able to lay a wreath at the Tomb of the Unknowns as well. Very moving and sure, for sure. So let's go ahead and talk about how the pandemic actually affected everything. Um, we were not able to fly basically all of 2020. Um, and obviously the spring flight um, was not able to fly due to the restrictions. And obviously, um, you know, it's for the best for the, the well-being of the veterans, but we are really hoping to get a flight up in the air this fall. And yeah, so when is the first one kind of, I guess, is it tentatively planned at this time? Tentatively planned for Wednesday, October 6th. And that would be flying out of um, Cherry County Airport out of Traverse City. Okay. And then you have an upcoming event to help uh, support this cause. We, we do. Um, July 17th uh, at, Com uh, excuse me, at Scott Lake Golf Course in Comstock Park, we are um, hosting a um, uh, golf outing for anyone that would like to play and come join us. It's $75 uh, per golfer. That does include a nice steak dinner afterwards. There'll be a raffle, 50-50 drawing, et cetera. Um, just to kind of, you know, get people out now that things have obviously started opening up and we can get outside. And it's a great way to um, support these veterans and help us get that flight up in the air. Okay, and then for people to sign up, they can go to mid, uh, midmichiganhonorflight.org and we'll make sure to get all those details on our website too. So in, and in closing today, what's it like for you to, to be a part of all of this? Uh, I've been able to go on a couple of the flights. Um, to me, it's all about being able to see um, those veterans get to see the memorials and monuments that were built for them. You have to stop and think many of them came home from their term in service and went right back home to factory jobs and farms. Um, so some of them have, haven't been on a, a plane since. So we're basically honoring the people that have allowed us to um, have the freedoms that we that we currently have right now. And none of that would be possible without these these people volunteering and stepping up and serving in our honor. All right. Well, Brenda, thank you so much for your time this morning. We'll be sure to get that word out there for you. Thank you so much. We appreciate the help. Absolutely. We'll have all the details coming up on our website later today.